Well, the fourth batch of evacuation of Nigerians from Hungary is expected at 12.40 a.m. with 380 returnees on board. The expected evacuees should bring the total number of Nigerians returned to the country to 1,149. A total of 769 Nigerians fleeing the Russia-Ukraine war were evacuated to Nigeria by the federal government. And the returnees, mostly students studying in Ukraine, were repatriated from neighboring Ethio European countries, Romania, Poland and Hungary. Moya Thomas reports. The first batch of evacuation arrived in Nigeria at about 7.10 a.m. on Friday from Romania, bearing 415 returnees. While the second set was the airpiece flight from Poland, which was initially scheduled for a day earlier, it had 180 returnees and three children. The flight touched down at about 6.35 p.m. on Friday with the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs on hand to receive them. The last flight to arrive on Friday was the flight from Hungary at about 11.45 p.m. Government officials confirmed there were some Nigerians awaiting evacuation. But the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs assures the exercise will be continuous as instruction of President Buhari is to evacuate every Nigerian willing to return. Because we were at the airport and they were telling their colleagues, oh, we're already boarding, we're already on our way. Those who were doubting that maybe the uh, government was just joking saw that it was a reality. And by the time we couldn't go back, we went, we went and sat to them in the same hotel. We already met more than 50 people waiting for us. It is an ongoing process and Mr. President has directed that no Nigerian uh, should be left behind in those countries. They are to be brought back home in safety and in dignity. And you the president released $8.5 million for the evacuation, and this has made the exercise a smooth one so far. On arrival, with relief and joy on their faces, they went through the arrival profiling and clearance with the mandatory COVID-19 test. But it is certain the war experience will linger for a while in their memories. This um, conflict between Russia and Ukraine has been going on for a long time ago, so we just thought this was something normal. Then on a Thursday morning, we had the bomb explosion in, in Kiev. Then everybody started panicking. My roommate woke me up when I was sleeping. Even I had the bomb, I thought it was just something like unusual. Then um, we were finding ways to leave, and I saw a lot of people that same morning like packing to leave the country. They were also given $100 for the fare back to their various locations, a gesture many of them appreciated. The relief felt by the returnees at escaping the war situation was equally shared by waiting parents and family members. <laughs> the joy at being reunited with the family was palpable. Moya Thomas, TVC News.